Hi everybody, we've got an MXB402 machine here that uh, needs a hard drive change and uh, this is typically something your technician would be required to do, however we service people in greatly remote locations and uh, they're quite handy with their own screwdrivers. I'm using a number two Phillips tip, that's what, what you're going to need for this job for changing the hard drive. First step, first step is always make sure the machine is unplugged before you start. Open the drawer, open the front cabinet. We'll be taking off this side panel here. And you can see there are two little clips right here. And that will release this side panel. Slide it towards the front of the machine and off it comes. Now we use our screwdriver first, right here on this little fan box. Keep track of your screws. Carefully remove this fan box and disconnect the connecting connector. Okay, next we want to take off this metal plate. There are two screws holding it, one at the bottom, one at the top. Oh, see that? I forgot that screw. I guess there's three screws holding it. Might as well pop this out a little bit. Might as well take it off. <laughs> and uh, along this side are little ears that hold in. Uh, so you need to lift it up a little bit to be able to take it out. See how those, those little ears fit in those little slots. Okay, now we're down to the hard drive. The hard drive is under here and uh, I don't know if you can see it. What holds the hard drive in is this lever right here. Now there's really nothing on the hard drive that's easy to grab and hold that lever. Um, about the easiest way I've found to do it, and I'll turn my flashlight off, but um, this cable connector right here gives a pretty firm grip and then you can wiggle and lift the hard drive. Once it's popped out a little bit, now it's free from that, that retaining lever. And so now you can carefully disconnect this black connector and move it carefully up out of the way. Now you should be able to get your hard drive and it's, it's a tight fit. Um, but there, you'll be able to get your hard drive removed. A, a new hard drive typically does not come with this metal bracket. So what you'll need to do is take out these four screws, two on this side and two on this side, and, and put your new hard drive back in the bracket in the same way that it came out. Uh, it's important because these legs are different measurements and that's what fits in the machine this way. So once you've transferred your bracket over to your new hard drive, and be gentle with your hard drive. Don't, don't bang it, don't drop it. Um, you know, hard drives are a delicate piece of technology that can be damaged by, with rough handling. Okay, so now that's plugged back into its socket, and uh, I recommend a little flashlight for being able to get get your plug back in. Now, be aware that these metal corners can possibly cut these wires if you're not careful. So, again, I stress, be careful. You want your plug to line up properly and you want it to be fully seated. Okay, there we are. 
the new hard drive is in now we can begin the reinstall and uh, so I'm gonna remind you about these little ears fit in these little slots and down then you can see the top and bottom screw holes line up I'll go ahead and put the screws in And uh, when you're tightening screws on copiers, they do not have to be torqued down very hard. Um, you can strip them out, you can damage them. Uh, you just take them up until they're tight. But you, it, it's not like working on a car, so you don't want to overdo the tightening of the screws. This panel fits on the inside of this metal panel. And it can be a little bit tricky. You've got to get it over this ear and then in. And up here on this top, I don't know if you can see that, sometimes you have to press down a little bit to get it to slide under there. And then it fits up. And we'll put that middle screw back in. Now for our hard disk drive cooling fan. I found it easiest to plug in the connector first and then take your fan and with a little wiggle it'll slide right into place there. Here's my screw for that. And let me grab the side cover. <laughs> Our side cover also has little ears that need to fit in to be able to hold it into place and then our plastic clips for the front. I typically start by lining up this bottom one because I can see it easiest. And I'll get that ear in a little bit, slide the whole unit towards the rear of the machine a little bit. Sometimes it takes a little more than just a wiggle. There we go. Now it's snapped in. Um, at this point, you have changed the hard drive. Now, just changing the hard drive does not make the machine work. Now, the, up, the uh, firmware needs to be updated. And uh, you can consult your local Sharp dealer uh, for instructions on doing that. All right. Thanks.